Yeah, hi folks, this is Ziggy, nice to see you again. You see me playing Brown Sugar in an arrangement for the standard tuning and uh, this is a way you can play it a little bit different from the original in the open G. Uh, we start with the G chord here, you know this is the D chord. You go to the 5th fret, to the 7th fret and then you play with your pinky the 4th, D4. So we have our chord and then with the pinky we play it like this and from the D4 D major chord we go to the C in the 8th fret, you bar, play a normal C major chord and then you move your ring finger and your pinky one string down I would say. Um, on the G and the no on the D and the G string. It's another fourth uh, C4 we would say or we would call it suspended because the third note of the chord is suspended. Then I fill in some single notes. Um, on the A string I start with my first finger, hammer on the ring finger for the fifth fret, do the same on the D string. You can play it the way you want to but it is necessary to, to get your rhythm, yeah? And what I do with my right hand is I mute the strings in between. You hear when you hear the stops, yeah? If I wouldn't play the stops, it would sound like this. You do the stops with the palm of your right hand and your edge work with your left hand by lifting the fingers. You, these two things work hand in hand and uh, it's sometimes very difficult to explain these little actions that uh, you do with palming and muting in between. Yeah. But most important thing is to keep the rhythm. You see this is a bad example for playing good rhythm. And then I go to the, well, E flat. Here's the D major chord, here is the E flat or D sharp. I play the four again, make a suspended chord out of the of the normal major chord. Play the C, C4 again. Go into the fourth fret of well the whole fretboard and play the bard. A flat, here is the A ma normal major chord, A flat, B B and back to C. Sometimes I play these little ticky tick before I play the chord. Try to imitate the drums. Whole thing again. start with the words B 
What sounds, sounds typical Stones like with the standard tuning is when you play the normal major chord in the 8th fret and then here we have the C major again but what do I do? Um, I play this normal C major chord like this first thing on the 3rd fret of the A string then I bar D, G and B string but what sounds stones like to me is something like this you see I keep to the C major chord but I play the E in the bass that means on the A string I go into the 7th fret and play the bad C major chord here. I mute the high E string and don't touch the, the deep E string. Here are the two chords but the first one with the root note as a C and then we have the E in the bass and when I play the middle finger before I hammer on the ring finger it sounds like this and here I play the minus 7 chord the ring finger on the ninth fret no 7th of the D middle finger 6th of the B this is a D minus 7 chord and when I lift it I have the C major again and these variations I try to fit them into my verse accompaniment yeah down da 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 listen to that again Is the F chord and the F is here again and I can do the same thing that I did before with the C with the F listen again for the verse I don't know the lyrics so I try to improvise a little bit just around midnight here I use the BB the sixth fret and then we come to the chorus but before I would like to well play the accompaniment of the verse again so you can play some variations whatever you like but it's good to know these things here I play a power chord on the third fret, which is a G. Seventh fret on the E string, a bar, A, and D string. again and I change to the F then I lift my ring finger
Once again, the chorus. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. And here the song starts again. Okay. I hope this helped you a little bit, gives you some inspiration. Okay, thank you. Nice to see you. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.